Well, well, well. Start brand new start of a new week. Bitcoin still getting rejected by the 377 exponential. So as far as as far as like the intermediate time frame goes, you know the 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 range is pretty much set. 5200 and I'd say 4800 to the downside. But if we can actually end like a, what do you want to call this right here? Do you want to call it a shooting star dildo? I don't care what you call it. Typically a selling dildo and uh, a bodyless dildo, which can be indicative of, of, of indecision, perhaps even reversal. And if we do get, if we actually do get continu continuation below the low of this dildo at 51.27 and a half, then that would be confirmed for me. That would also confirm bearish divergence on the daily dildo time frame right over here. And at that point in time, I would be looking for an overall move back down, probably around 4,800 to 4,900 to share up doing all well and good come on baby come up and film me you fuck jesus christ it's not gonna do it so like people are speculating that this is you know it's like bear market over they're closing their shorts or people are saying like the, we're about to dump right fucking now it's like no you know might not maybe you're like crown you're fucking moron <laughs> who gives a fuck uh i don't want estonia's uh shit coin <laughs> i don't probably want it either <laughs> mrs like one has been leading the market and to me she does look like she's broken this formation of the downside we spoke about this over the past weekend that mrs like was setting up for a sell well this now it's now it's going down right now and overall it's the same sort of malaise for mrs like as i have for mr bitcoin just because I'm looking for a pullback, does that mean that I'm bearish looking for new lows? Fuck no, man. I'm looking I'm looking for a pullback probably around low $80. And then if things get a little more crazy, around $75.5 would look about right to me. Keep in mind, though, still got a golden cross, so I still would be looking for a bounce at the very, at the very latest at the 21 expansion, which will be at that $75.5 region. Uh, down, bad, really bad, really bad, man. Whenever you see a chart like this, you scream all of these at the exact same oh, time. Man. And it's back. The soundboard's back. It's back in your fucking ears. But that's a bunch of FUD! I've had enough of this FUD! Unsubbed! <laughs> and then 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 is the number of 3, which also means 3. Therefore, aliens. What the fuck did I just hear? <laughs> I've never heard of this thing, man. This thing looks like fucking dog shit. Eklund, what is this, man? What is this? Is there a risk reward on this? Yes. Risk? A million. Reward? <laughs> Not high. Eklund, what the fuck, man? You've been in crypto land too long. You've been in crypto land way too long. This is not supposed to look normal. <laughs> it's not a good chart. <laughs> it's not a good chart. What was once a $14, $15 name is now a fucking penny stock, man. It's not good. The good news is it can't go that much lower because it literally will be at zero in another 55 cents. Morpheus says, what do you think of gold? Gold! I love gold! Nothing's really changed there, of course, and, and I really can't, can't expect things to, train, to change all that often on a time frame like this, just kind of showing the validity of this blue 377 exponential moving average right over here. So as long as we're being beheld in by this area, I would be looking for ultimately a pullback as far as this time frame goes. Now going into lower time frames, we did we did speak about this area likely to kind of grind back up, test the 5250-ish area, which we've just gotten right now. And so far, so far it has been rejected but lower time frame still very resilient, just crawling its way up this yellow 21 expansion movement average. So until this area is actually fully and formally broken, there's not really it's not really appropriate to be looking for that next uh, uh, for that next move down, likely to 50 50 ish area to fill the CME gap, which is the point we'd actually be looking for another uh, you know another bounce. But basically, right in this area, right over here, you do see for CMEs. Uh, still you know still kind of hovering above this area, about 50 50 that would equate to on spot. Still consolidation. Crypto Ninja says, Crown, please drop your crystal ball and tell us we're going to the moon. All right. Do you really want me to do it? My crystal balls, they're down around here, man. The crown jewels are sitting right between my legs. And, and so many people are screaming, Stochastic RSI is saying this. And all those people lost their accounts, man. Your business model is fucked. It's FUBAR, man. How are you going to make a business out of selling fucking stamps when we got the internet? <laughs> We're gonna have virtual reality soon. We're gonna be walking around a different universe. You think we need fucking snail mail anymore? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uh, eight hour RSI, not really telling us too much, just consulting right now. It's really once we get to the 12 hour and daily where I think things start to become a little bit more clear. And we got the 12 hour right over here. The 12 hour actually is coming down on the Stokes. Uh, 12 hour RSI just consolidating as well, but putting in some bearish divergence confirmed one, two stabs right over here. But until that actually, in, until we actually see us break the red 10 moon average, which again is at 5200 level. So we have great confluences with that 5200 ish level. Very, 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 very important because, you know, it doesn't matter which sort of method you're using to make a trade right now. If 5200 is the big, you know, is, is the big kind of actor to a downside trade. The next target I'd be looking towards is right here, right around the 12 hour uh, 21 exponential. Usually after 
sure I get some bearish divergence. That's kind of where I want to see a test come back towards. However, does that mean that I'm bearish on this? Even if I am looking for a pullback? No, I'm actually, no matter, no matter which way I cut it, whether it's a short term time frame or, or medium term time frame, I am actually looking for some more upside overall. But, uh, but the question is right now is do we get a pullback first and foremost? And that question is likely to be answered, uh, in, in less than a day, probably today, I'd imagine as this this formation is getting incredibly incredibly mature we see this we see this whole sp face, uh, space filled out uh pretty much to the brink this has an apex coming in i believe tomorrow i want you to bend over and, <laughs> and wave to me like, like a tiger but mom mom get out of my room you lazy bitch i told you to clean my flashlight okay god damn it mom mom my fucking nanos keep on going down can't you just leave me alone i'm trying to Dude, magic in that money missing right now. Mom! Mom! I love you, Mom. All of this area is just riddled with resistances. We got the 377 on the daily, which is incredibly important for long-term trend identification. We got the two-day 200 exponential rejecting price action as well. In fact, putting a massive long-legged doji in there, which is confirmed as a high now, and also drooping back down below the blue 377 exponential as well. I got Mr. Buterall right over here, which did look like a sick puppy before the actual sell-off. We did have a clear and obvious rejection of this purple 200 exponential moving average, and we have the same sort of we kind of have the same sort of action where uh, Mr. Buterall is more advanced in its sell-off. It's already come back down and tested the tw the yellow 20 minute exponential moving average right over here a little bit of bearish divergence on the top as, uh, alongside of a rejection and we do have the daily stokes going to be confirming a cross down as well so i would be looking for this area to bounce it off initially and it's going to be the same sort of thing as mr buterall as i do have for mr bitcoin we're likely going to end above the 21 exponential by end of day the question is do we end above or below the red 10 simple moving average if we end above it probably going to bounce back up to the 175 ish range and uh, and then figure it out from there if we end below it's probably going to be a sell on the red 10 simple moving average on the retest ring ring hello please oh see CZ, is that you? Oh, yes. I have a more useless uh, shitcoin for you, sir. Do you interest in a Tron? Do you interest in uh, maybe a A, M, a B, Ambrosius? Are you interested in a Wotan Chain? Wotan Chain, very powerful, very useless, but also very a moon potential. You like a useless tokens? You come to pilots! We're going to the fucking. What? 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 Oh, fuck. What? Fuck. Um, but overall, you know, Bitcoin on the lower time frames, it is a little bit menacing right now because lower time frames do look like, you know, we could very easily pick ourselves up right here. As you do see a nice bullish wick actually down around that 4900 level, hitting our first target and then being bought back up, bought back on up very, very quickly. So usually when I see something like that, I do want to see it actually have further on continuation. Just because I'm talking about, you know, this putting a little bit of a top here, don't take that as you know, don't take that as on the lower time frames. We can't have nice bounces. I mean, we just had we, we had we had a nice bounce this morning. We called the the bounce at forty nine hundred to fifty one hundred. That's a two hundred dollar bounce. That's a that's a five percent play. That's about a five percent play nowadays, which is that's a fucking lot, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a lot. It's 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 I mean, you can do a lot of damage with that with, with, with that kind of um with that kind of opportunity. So as always, want to be turning my head towards those sorts of things. Story time, story time. Where did the Cobra come from? Says Blockhead Ken. The Cobra, and, and I was in a private message with, um, with 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 one of the guys in the community. His name is One, if you know him in the Discord. Uh, he it, it, On YouTube, his name is Nupem. Great fucking guy. He he's Indian, like from actual India, you know, and uh, and and basically we were talking, we were saying some, and, uh, and and I said something along the lines of uh, or, or I said something along the lines of I'm probably uh, I'm probably gonna be scaling out right now, and he said, bro. What are you talking about? Bitcoin is about to rise like the cobra. And then I just fucking lost it at that point, man. I couldn't, I couldn't fucking handle myself. I've never heard anyone say something like that. And then the cobra Mimi was born. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is a Hagen Lee with another morning update for Bitcoin. Today we will be going moon. And then it morphed into Samurai Hagen. Oh, hello, please. This is a Hagen Re, and today we have another morning update for our Bitcoin. Hi! 
if Bitcoin can break above 5,100, I'd be looking for a move towards 5,150 uh, right here. Uh, nice little $50 range, not bad, but fair enough. And if Bitcoin breaks above 5,150, I'd be looking for a move back up to 5,250 to 5,300. So if you are trading the lower time frames, that's kind of how I'd be doing it right now. That's the end of the week. My God, another week down. And pleasure, pleasure to have everyone here. As always, a pleasure to be with everyone. My God, so much, so much fun being had this week. My throat's absolutely on fire, but it's 100% worth it. So again, guys, thank you for joining in and, uh, and I'll see you next time.